One of the last main suspects in the 1994 Rwandan genocide is due to go on trial at the UN tribunal in The Hague. Felician Kabuga is charged with genocide and crimes against humanity for his alleged role in the slaughter of about 800,000 people, most of them ethnic Tutsis. He was arrested in Paris two years ago after long evading capture. Let's go now to The Hague where our correspondent Anna Holligan has been keeping up with the latest developments. Anna, hello to you. And, and tell us first of all, what uh, role specifically is uh, Felicien Kabuga alleged to have played in the slaughter? We've just been hearing details of these allegations. The hearing's now underway in the building, the UN tribunal behind me here. And the judge began the session by saying that uh, Felicien Kabuga is well, but he has decided not to attend the trial and he's also decided not to follow it via video link from the detention centre where he is being held here in The Hague. So the details we have been hearing so far, he is alleged to have set up this radio station which acted more like a propaganda machine and was used to disseminate messages of hate against Tutsis, for example, infamously referring to them as cockroaches and encouraging uh, ethnic Hutus to kill them. He is additionally accused of importing and distributing the machetes that were used to kill more than half a million people over the space of just 100 days uh, in Rwanda in 1994. And the allegation is that he used his status as one of Rwanda's most wealthy businessmen in order to help carry out all of these atrocities. And as we mentioned in the introduction, Anna, um, Mr Kabuga evaded capture for a very long time. How long could this process, this trial, take? Well, we've had an indication ever since his detention in Paris in 2020 of how long it may take. Um, so his defence have argued throughout the pretrial proceedings that he is too frail to go ahead with a trial. It will jeopardise his health. He's in his late 80s now. The judges disagreed, but they did give some concessions. So actually, the hearings here will uh, be unusually just two hours, three times a week, so that it's hoped he will survive this because one of the... The fears among the survivors of the genocide is that he will die under the presumption of innocence. And another thing that human rights groups have been repeating is that his presence here today after a quarter of a century on the run is evidence that justice delayed doesn't have to mean justice denied. The question of how he managed to evade capture, it's a fascinating and long story which will be part of the discussion in this UN tribunal. He used a series of fake passports. The allegation is he managed to travel between Europe and Africa and then was eventually uh, detained just two years ago. How long could this last? Uh, probably many years. We saw in the initial stages he struggles a little bit with the translation. Uh, he finds it quite difficult to, to speak, it seems. And all of this has to go through uh, translations into uh, Rwandan, into English and to French. Uh, next week, we are expecting to hear from the first witnesses. So the prosecution plans to call 50 witnesses uh, to give evidence and they will testify to say that Felicien Kabuga was instrumental as the the uh, indictment says he was one of the the masterminds of the genocide that is the allegation he has denied all the charges Anna thank you very much Anna Holligan